Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today I'm making Mugu Gai Pan, which literally means chicken and mushrooms. It's a very common and popular Chinese dish here in America, but it's not an authentic Chinese dish, much like most of the Chinese dishes we are used to eating. But it's easy to make and one of my favorites. So let's get started. Add some thinly sliced chicken breast that I'm going to marinate with salt, granulated garlic, white pepper, and Shaoxing Chinese cooking wine. Now give it a good mix with your hands. Then mix in a little cornstarch. And then mix in a little bit of oil to keep all the chicken separated. Let that marinate for 10 to 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna add oil to my wok over medium high heat. And you do not have to use a wok. You can use any frying pan, pot, or skillet. I wouldn't recommend buying a wok or any kind of specialty kitchen item to make one dish one time. If you're gonna make the dish over and over again or a dish like it, and a specialty item makes it easier or better, then I would buy it. Now add the chicken. Spread it out into an even layer and let it sit there for 30 seconds. And this will prevent everything from sticking. After sitting for 30 seconds, go ahead and start stir frying and stir fry for one minute. Then remove the chicken and set aside and leave the excess oil in the wok. Now add the root ends of Napa cabbage, sliced carrots, and you can barely see it, but I'm adding garlic from a tube. And green onion. Stir fry for 30 seconds or a little bit longer if you like your vegetables a little more tender. Now add sliced mushrooms. Snow peas. White pepper. Soy sauce and a pinch of salt. Give it a quick 30 second stir fry. And then add bamboo shoots and water chestnuts. I mistakenly picked up the can of the chopped water chestnuts. I like the whole sliced ones better. Low sodium chicken broth. And finally, add the chicken back in. Give it a good mix and bring it up to a boil. Now mix in the tops of the Napa cabbage. and a little bit of toasted sesame oil. And finally, a little bit of cornstarch slurry to thicken everything up. As soon as you add the slurry, give it a mix and it'll thicken right up. And there you have it, Mugu Gai Pan. Better, cheaper, and healthier than in a Chinese restaurant. Like I said in the beginning of this video, Mugu Gai Pan literally means chicken and mushrooms. So those are the only two mandatory ingredients in this dish. So if there's other vegetables in here that you don't like, leave them out. If you want to add more vegetables, put them in. Because you are the boogeyman, ah, boogeyman. of your Mugu Gai Pan. 
Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.